this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and today I am going to uh, address a topic that, that I get asked about all the time which is how to learn to play vibrato on the harmonica. So before I even talk about how to do it, I think it's important that we define what vibrato is. So vibrato is when you modulate the pitch of a note up and down. So basically it's bending and releasing a note uh, in, in a rhythmic way. So it's this kind of sound. Okay, so I'm using a C harmonica. Um, I'll be playing in second position in the key of G, but uh, the main thing is that uh, it's a C harmonica if you want to play along with me. So what a lot of people confuse vibrato with is uh, tremolo, which is this kind of thing. So that's just a rhythmic pulse, so uh, it, there's no pitch change, but it is important that we know about tremolo, that'll come up later. Or they think about hand vibrato, which is changing the, uh, the, the kind of the volume of the, the harmonica and the tone of the harmonica with your hand. So that's different as well. Now, there are a variety of different types of vibrato. Uh, you can do uh, throat vibrato um, or what I call tongue vibrato. Those are the kind of the, the two main ones. Uh, I think there are, there are other ways to, to think about it that uh, other players and teachers use, but for me, the main differences are are you using your throat or uh, are you using uh, your tongue. Um, so the, the version of, of vibrato that I'm going to uh, teach you is the throat vibrato, is, is the kind of classic bluesy... <laughs> Uh, kind of aggressive uh, vibrato. It's not as, as sweet as the uh, the kind of tongue bending vibrato. So step one before you do anything else is working on tremolo and you're going to do this on a blow note and all you're going to do is you're going to say ah but you're going to say it rhythmically so you're going to go ah 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 and you'll feel that your throat is kind of opening and closing ah 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 so try that on a two blow. And make sure that it's, it's a, definite, uh, a definite sound. It's quite easy for this to become quite uh, relaxed and slurred and turn into a... kind of a, a very vague change. To start with, you want to be very aggressive with this. And you want to think about it rhythmically. Um, so the, the key to, to good vibrato, as with so many things in life, is great rhythm. And it's got to have a rhythmic context. So when I'm doing that vibrato, I'm thinking... One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a... Okay? And you can practice doing this on, on loads of different notes on the harmonica. Do a one blow. Get comfortable with it, spend some time practicing, practicing this until it feels natural and until you feel that you have it under control. If it's all over the place and you don't have a, a kind of consistent pulse, then you're not ready to move on to the next step. This, this is a long-term process. This might take a year or a couple of years um, to, to get, get some kind of halfway usable vibrato, so be prepared. So once you can do the blow tremolo comfortably, then the next step would be working on, uh, on, on the draw tremolo, which is exactly the same process, except you're doing it on a draw note. <laughs> so I'm playing a one draw there. trying to sustain it for a nice long time to, to make sure I've got good breath control and control of the vibrato, of the tremolo in general. And I'm still trying to maintain that idea of the rhythmic pulse and keeping it in time with a beat. So similarly with the, the blow tremolo, get comfortable doing this on a, right, on, a, on a variety of notes. So try the two draw.
Okay? Once, that's, once that feels comfortable, then we can start thinking about adding in a little bit of the bend. So here I would suggest you go to the three draw on your C harmonica. Take it down to semitone and then try doing the tremolo. So there you can hear that the, the pitch is going up and down. And the key for this is making sure that although you, you've pulled your tongue into a relaxed position, you are, sorry, you pulled your tongue into a bend position, you maintain the relaxation. Because what your throat, which is doing the tremolo, is going to do, it's going to be the motor that pulls that tongue back and forward. And if you're really, really solid with the tongue, then it's not gonna be able to pull back and forward and you're not going to get that vibrato. Okay, so you can you can vary how deeply you vibrato, so you, you can pull the tongue further back. If you do that, you'll need to play a little bit harder. Just experiment with it. But as I said before, this is quite a long process but I just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview of it. So starting with blow tremolo, then draw tremolo, then starting to bring your, your tongue into adding in a little bit of bend and do uh, the draw bend and, and actually add in a vibrato. And you might make all sorts of weird noises while you're doing this. Uh, you might get a kind of kind of uh, aggressive slapping sound with your throat. It's not very pleasant but that means you're on the right track. The main thing is to make sure that you're placing this in the back of your mouth, at the top of your throat. If you're doing a kind of with the, with the tip of your tongue, you're not going to get that nice, strong, throaty vibrato. And final thought, I recommend that you check out a bunch of other teachers for this because we all have slightly different ways of thinking about it. Uh, my way of thinking about vibrato has changed over the years. I actually learned using uh, Adam Gusso's technique uh, where he advocates coughing. So doing an inward cough. <laughs> and that kind of gets you into uh, the zone for the vibrato. <laughs> But at the beginning, it's, it's quite painful and it's quite difficult to, to get control. Uh, so that's why I started moving more towards this uh, tremolo uh, approach, which uh, I heard from David Barrett originally, actually. So experiment with different teachers, uh, but also be aware that it's going to take it's going to take a while. So try and get a, a small win so that you know that you're using the approach that suits you best. Um, and then commit to refining it. It's gonna take time and you've got to be patient. Uh, as, a, as a little uh, anecdote, uh, I have a, a friend who's a violin teacher and uh, apparently in, in conservatoire when you're learning classical violin, they spend two years practicing their vibrato. That's just, that's just how vibrato works on a stringed instrument. So I don't see why it should be any different on the harmonica. Uh, so be patient, all right? so. Uh, if you uh, enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then subscribe to the channel because I put out a new video every Wednesday. And hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I post a new video. And before you head away, if you are wanting some more guidance with your harmonica playing, then I suggest you check out my online harmonica school, tomlinharmonicaschool.com. So I provide a step-by-step -step curriculum, taking you from beginner player to advanced intermediate, uh, using monthly practice guides. And I also give feedback on your playing and answer all your questions in my uh, student community forum. Um, there are also a bunch of other resources there. So if you want to find out a little bit more about that, then click on the link in the description below as well. Alright, take it easy and happy harping! Um.